First tonight, three teenage boys killed while joyriding in stolen cars, running from the law. This, according to the Pinellas Sheriff. The teenagers were playing a game of cat and mouse, says the sheriff, driving up to 100 miles an hour. Well, one of those teens was thrown from an SUV. Two of his friends were still found inside that vehicle. All three of them died, and another had to be rushed to the hospital. Let's go now to News Channel 8's Corey Davis. He's live in Palm Harbor, where that all ended. Corey. Rodamel, good evening to both of you. It's clear that something horrible happened here at the intersection of U.S. Highway 19 and Tampa Road. You can see this smashed. It's total. This minivan along with the pickup truck next to it and some other vehicles here at uh, Florida Suncoast Auto Brokers. These vehicles are what we're told those teenagers smashed into. Now, the three who were killed were 16-year-old Keontae Brown, 14-year-old Jimmy Goshi, and 16-year-old Dejare Thomas. We're told this all started around 1 this morning when deputy Deputies recognized the SUV as being stolen and tried to pull over the driver. Well, deputies tell us they lost sight of the SUV, but later spotted it along with a stolen Chrysler Sebring around 4 this morning heading into the East Lake Woodlands area. When the boys got on Tampa Road, deputies described seeing a cat and mouse game. The, the vehicles were speeding up and slowing down before the Explorer sped off at more than 100 miles per hour. We're told that it crashed into another vehicle, went airborne, then crashed into several parked cars. The car was literally spinning and rolling as it went down Tampa Road. It burst into flames. But I can't stress it enough. This is that this is a sad situation. It's a terrible situation, and it and somehow it's got to stop. K-9 officers later tracked down two boys uh, that were in that Chrysler Sebring. So here's a look at one of them, 18-year-old Kamal Campbell. We're told that he was in that car with a 16-year-old boy. And back live here, both of those boys were taken into custody. So you can see this damage here. The owner of Florida Suncoast Auto Brokers is working to get all of this cleaned up. Back to you. All right, Corey Davis live in Palm Harbor Force. Corey, thank you.